Washington and Baltimore. But we're running a close second. Stay informed with Weather Center all day today and every day. In the next half hour, Weather Center AM, a comprehensive national forecast. At 40 after, Weather Center AM continues with highway and air travel conditions. Then the weekend outlook. And at 50 after, Stormwatch. But right now, it's your local forecast on the Weather Channel. much calmer day today across the southeast after some stormy weather on Friday. And what's left of our storm system is still bringing rain this hour to parts of the mid-Atlantic. But conditions will be improving as the day continues to unfold. Good morning and welcome to this edition of Weather Center. I'm Cheryl Lemke. And I'm Bruce Edwards. Now the scattered rains in the west are more of a nuisance than anything else this Saturday. Details on that are coming up. First let's look at the rain in the east and the satellite picture shows the clouds responsible for the rain. Now through the overnight hours we've had some substantial amounts of rain from this storm system. As a matter of fact we have reports of three and a half inches of rain that has fallen uh, in the last 24 hours in Athens, Georgia, for example. That's some heavy stuff. And again, it continues to churn right about here at the center of the low, now shifting east, coming across southern Virginia. The precipitation's coming to an end back in Ohio and Kentucky and in southern Pennsylvania, but it's really here in the Chesapeake Bay area. That's where most of the significant moisture is. We've got the low, and again, unlike a lot of the storm systems we've had that travel up the coast and eventually will soak northern and central New England, as well as uh, the northeast quarter, this one is heading pretty much due east. Right now, still some very heavy rains around Salisbury, Maryland. Maryland and uh, parts of the Chesapeake, southern uh, Delaware, and into Maryland. As you notice, things improving back into Pennsylvania, West Virginia, just a few showers still lurking about the mountain ridges, but most of the heavy weather is in the upper Chesapeake Bay. Here's a little close-up look at the D.C. Uh, radar. Raining in D.C., raining in Baltimore, but you can see the very heavy rain now around Salisbury and into Maryland's eastern shore, over to Dover, some moderate showers, and some rain just to the south side of Philly, southern Jersey right now. It's tapering off and ending at Roanoke and uh, into Lynchburg, where we've had about an inch to an inch and a quarter of rain around uh, Lynchburg, Virginia, and the Norfolk Newport News area has seen about an inch of rain here, and Richmond seeing some light to moderate showers persisting. Now, yesterday, this storm produced severe weather. It began to travel across the plains, and especially in the southeast and in Tennessee, we had a number of tornadoes. Matter of fact, uh, we have reports of some eight tornadoes in Tennessee, one of which was in Robertson County in the north central part of the state. Now, these tornadoes ripped across uh, the volunteer state, destroying or damaging 40 homes and more than a dozen businesses. Uh, five people were reported injured, but no reports of any fatalities, and that is good news. And we haven't had the severe weather as the system coming through, just heavy rain. 46 still soaking in D.C., 48 in Philly. Boston's at 40, 38 all. Albany and Elmira, 41 in Detroit right now. Southbound, 
a little cooler than you've gotten used to the last week or so. 53 in Atlanta, 48 in Dallas, Fort Worth, but still sticky into Florida, just ahead of our front that's dangling through. And you can see some clouds ahead of our cold front. Still get low clouds wrapping around the low into the deep south, but uh, sunshine back around Dallas, Fort Worth. But ahead of the frontal system is a very, very narrow band of precipitation. And it's been just marching right down the peninsula. Right now it's passed through Daytona, moving over now to uh, the Kennedy, uh, the Cape Canaveral area, across towards Orlando, met and wetting uh, Mickey just a little bit, and it won't last long as it presses south, but it continues on to Tampa Bay, a very thin line working its way towards the southeast. So that's what we've got going on in the eastern state. Cheryl, how about the west? Well, it's a cool, breezy day across the Great Lakes in the Midwest, and scattered rain is now affecting parts of California and Utah on this Saturday. As we take a look at the latest surface map for the west, we see a weak area of low pressure that continues to migrate across Montana. Another system, though, coming in across Nevada and the Intermountain West. There's a far more substantial storm system that's still waiting in the wings. It's poised in the East Pacific, and that will eventually come into California tomorrow. And at that point, maybe some heavy rains on Sunday for parts of Los Angeles and around San Diego. So if you're planning for some outdoor activities, you might want to squeeze in those plans today in Southern California because it certainly doesn't look like Mother Nature will cooperate by tomorrow. Checking out some radars, still some wet weather conditions across Central California at this time. There's been some rain around the Bay Area this morning, so rather wet around the Golden Gate Bridge. Some rains too across the Sacramento Valley, including Chico, Redding and Red Bluff, and rain down through Sacramento itself. So if you're heading off to the shopping malls this morning, be prepared for some wet conditions and grab those umbrellas. Moisture continues to flow in across Utah as well. We've had some snow around Cedar City, some sprinkles though around Salt Lake City, and a cool rain too northward towards the Snake River Valley. Around Pocatello and Burley, Idaho, you have some rain. There's some rain too around Haley. It's all generally lifting off towards the north-northeast, and we'll still have some messy weather conditions persisting this afternoon. In contrast to the west, though, most of the nation's midsection waking up to some dry weather conditions. Lots of fair skies currently throughout the upper Mississippi Valley and the northern lakes. So it looks like a pretty nice day, beautiful weather around Green Bay, Milwaukee, and Madison, and Chicago, no problems. Do know some low gray clouds, though, around Kansas City and St. Louis, but those two will eventually be burning off a little bit later this morning. Right now, high pressure and firm control throughout the Midwest, a sprawling ridge that extends from Ontario southward towards the Gulf Coast, so a pretty nice day for some outdoor plans. Just keep in mind, though, that the winds will stay rather blustery today, with these lows cutting through the west. Winds will likely be picking up across the Front Range and the western High Plains states. So if you're planning on boating or rafting today, maybe across the Platte River from Nebraska into Colorado, or maybe across the Rio Grande River in New Mexico and western Texas, watch out for some choppy waters and rough conditions in some of those local lakes and rivers in the west. In the Midwest, venturing out this morning, grab the winter coats, kind of chilly, 30s and 40s. Currently 39 for the Twin Cities with 43 for Chicago.